the phone in your pocket, friend or spy, it's a question we rarely ask ourselves. Did you know that your smartphone holds more information about you than you can probably remember? Every app, every click, every swipe is a data point. I think about it, your photos, your messages, your location history, even your browsing habits. All these tiny details paint a comprehensive picture of your life. All this data is constantly being collected, analyzed, and potentially used against you. Scary, right? It's like having a digital shadow that never leaves you. We live in a world increasingly dominated by technology. Everywhere you look, people are glued to their screens. It connects us, entertains us, and makes our lives easier in countless ways. From staying in touch with loved ones to streaming our favorite shows, but behind this shiny facade lurks a darker side, one that we often ignore until it's too late, the side that can compromise our security and privacy. This isn't about some dystopian future from a sci-fi movie. It's happening right now in real time. This is about the very real threats technology poses to our privacy, our mental health, and even our democracy. The stakes are higher than ever. It's time we stopped blindly embracing every new gadget and started asking some tough questions questions that challenge the status quo. What are we giving up in exchange for convenience? Is the trade-off really worth it? And more importantly, is it worth the price? It's a question we all need to ponder as we navigate this digital age. The two faces of technology, innovation and exploitation. Technology at its core is a tool. Like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. A hammer can build a house or break a skull. The internet can connect people across continents or spread hate speech like wildfire. The same algorithms that power our favorite apps can also be used to manipulate our emotions, exploit our insecurities and influence our decisions without us even realizing it. That's the terrifying truth behind technology's dark side. It's not about demonizing technology altogether. It's about understanding the potential risks and demanding better from the companies and institutions that control it. We need to find a balance between innovation and responsibility between progress and protection, because if we don't, we risk creating a world where technology controls us, not the other way around. The data economy, you are the product. In today's digital age, your personal information is more valuable than ever. Ever wonder why so many online services are free? It's not out of generosity. Here's the catch. You're not the customer. You're the product. Your data is the currency. Every click, every like every search you make generates valuable data that tech companies collect, package and sell to the highest bidder. This data is meticulously analyzed to create detailed profiles about you. This data is used to target you with personalized ads, manipulate your behavior, and even influence your voting pattern. It's a subtle yet powerful form of control. It's a multi-billion dollar industry built on exploiting your personal information without your explicit consent or knowledge. The stakes are incredibly high. Think about that the next time you're scrolling through social media or using a free app. What are you really giving away? Every action you take online leaves a digital footprint, a trail of data that can be used to profile you and predict your behavior with frightening accuracy. This digital trail is almost impossible to erase. It's time we took back control of our data and demanded greater transparency from the companies that profit from it. We need to be aware and proactive in protecting our digital identities. Trapped in the scroll, the addiction epidemic, it's a silent crisis affecting millions around the globe. Remember the last time you spent hours scrolling through social media, even though you had other things to do? You're not alone. This behavior is becoming increasingly common. Social media platforms are designed to be addictive, employing sophisticated algorithms and psychological tricks to keep you hooked. They know exactly how to capture your attention and keep you engaged. Every notification, every notification, every like every share triggers a dopamine rush in your brain, reinforcing the addictive cycle. This constant feedback loop keeps you coming back for more. We've become slaves to the endless scroll, sacrificing our time, our relationships, and even our mental health for fleeting moments of digital validation. The cost is far greater than we realize. Studies have shown a direct link between excessive social media use and increased rates of anxiety, depression, and loneliness. The more we scroll, the more isolated we feel. We're constantly comparing ourselves to others, bombarded with unrealistic beauty standards and curated versions of reality. This comparison trap can be devastating to our self-esteem. 
It's time we broke free from the clutches of social media addiction and reclaimed our time and our well-being. By taking small steps, we can regain control and find balance in our lives. The age of misinformation drowning in a sea of lies in the digital age, information spreads faster than ever before, but so does misinformation. Social media platforms and online forums have become breeding grounds for fake news, conspiracy theories, and propaganda. It's often difficult to distinguish fact from fiction, and the algorithms that control what we see online often prioritize engagement over accuracy. This creates echo chambers where people are only exposed to information that confirms their existing biases, further polarizing society and eroding trust in traditional institutions. The consequences of misinformation can be dire, from influencing election outcomes to inciting violence and discrimination. It's crucial that we develop critical thinking skills, learn to identify fake news and rely on credible sources of information. Because in the battle for truth, our very democracy is at stake a world without privacy, the chilling reality. Imagine a world where your every move is tracked, your every conversation recorded, and your every thought analyzed. This might sound like a dystopian nightmare, but it's becoming our reality. From facial recognition software to government surveillance programs, our privacy is under constant threat. The technologies we embrace for convenience and security can easily be turned against us, used to control, manipulate, and suppress dissent. We need to start valuing our privacy as a fundamental human right and fight for stronger regulations to protect it. Because once our privacy is gone, it's gone for good. The stakes are high. Our future hangs in the balance. The dark side of technology is not some abstract threat. It's a clear and present danger that affects every aspect of our lives. From eroding our privacy to fueling addiction and spreading misinformation, the consequences of unchecked technological advancement are dire. We're at a crossroads. We can continue down the current path of blind faith in technology, accepting the risks in exchange for convenience and entertainment, or we can demand better, pushing for ethical innovation, responsible regulation, and more human-centered approach to technology. The choice is ours, but the time to act is now. What can we do? Taking back control. So what can we do? The good news is we're not powerless. We can all take steps to mitigate the risks of technology and create a more equitable, and sustainable digital future. First, we need to educate ourselves about the issues, read articles, watch documentaries, and engage in conversations about the impact of technology on our lives. Second, we can demand better from tech companies, support businesses that prioritize privacy and ethical data practice, advocate for stronger regulations, and hold tech giants accountable for their actions. Finally, we can change our own digital habits, limit our screen time, be mindful of our social media use, and diversify our information sources to avoid falling prey to echo chambers and misinformation. Join the conversation. Your voice matters. The fight for a more ethical and responsible tech industry is a collective effort. We need everyone to be informed, to be informed, engaged, and willing to speak out. Share this essay with your friends and family. Start conversations about the dark side of technology and encourage others to join the movement for change. Contact your elected officials and demand stronger regulations to protect our privacy and data rights. Support organizations fighting for digital rights and ethical technology development. Together, we can make a difference because the future of technology is not predetermined. It's up to us to shape it. Keep learning resources for a deeper dive. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If you're interested in learning more about the dark side of technology, here are some resources to get you started. The Social Dilemma on Netflix, Weapons of Math Destruction by Kathy O'Neill, The Age of Surveillance Capitalism by Shoshana Zuboff, the Electronic Frontier Foundation's website, and the Center for Humane Technology's website. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand about the risks of technology, the better equipped we'll be to navigate the digital landscape view and create a future where technology empowers us, not controls us.